very much, I think, based around this, the curiosity for the intimate experience with this physical element water, not being so close to something so powerful, but not being affected, i.e. not getting wet. So we have this field of 100 square meters of rain. And when you approach it, there's kind of like a void opening up which follows you. So you can walk through it without getting touched by rain, while you have this volume of rainfall around you. What's awesome is that it's such a huge projection surface. People have all sorts of associations and experiences with it. And today people felt very much put back into childhood. Because I think as a child you don't really worry so much about getting wet. It's just you accept water as part of nature. Because you're outside, you're purposefully in the rain when you're a child. You're running around and stuff. And here you can sort of do that in a very moderated way. And I think that it is like that for some people. But it triggers all sorts of emotions and, and associations for people. This morning, happened this morning. Like, I walked out of the hotel over here and, I, and suddenly it started raining and it just becomes really, it just became heavier and heavier while you walk. And then people try to hide on the pavement, which is shielded from the rain. And then you kind of start to think, okay, you know, how would it be if actually you have this line of water which you have when you hide from it, but what if that would walk or move with you, you know, how would, because that's a very unnatural thing, because usually like architecture is very fixed, or things we move through is very fixed, so you, you have to behave according to that, you have to follow the, you have to follow the roof, basically, and here the roof follows you.